Hello, this is I Do Damage, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Bugsin, Lords of Glitchum, introducing the very first Chronicle Bug Trail. That's right, I am not joking, there's even more bugs than before in this game. We're going to keep this video real short and sweet and to the point. If you're looking for what's new in the game, I do have a card up top for that, talking about all the new things they have added. And this video is going to be a little bit more short, to the point, just talking about my impressions. After 12 hours spent in the game, the story took a little bit under 8 hours to complete, and the end game I've spent around 3 or 4 hours in. I gotta say, this game is one of those that you jump in because, well, the combat's fun, but you know that there's going to be bugs. You know that you're going to leave the game frustrated, and overall, I'm very disappointed with this update. I have gone to bed twice now, just feeling slapped in the face, kicked in the shin, victimized in a way that is just really unexplainable. But it's really sad because there's so, there's something that continues to draw me back to Wilson, and that is just the combat. I, I legit find the combat fun, but the amount of bugs from the sound randomly quitting out to these weird yellow boxes that appear on your screen when you toggle through the mini-map and overlay map, all the way to bosses disappearing, being unkillable. And the worst one yet, spending an hour in a hunt in a challenge map to get my character glitched to where he high fives the ground indefinitely and dies, in turn ending that run and wasting an hour of my time. It is beyond frustrating. The amount of rage and anger I have felt makes me just really not want to play. But I must just be really hurting for pain because for some reason, I keep coming back thinking maybe it's new, it's better, and it's improved. It's really not. I know this video is really short, but these are my honest early impressions. There are a lot of neat additions to the game, including the new crafting UI, which has a glitch as well. If you put in an entire stack of crafting materials, it will consume the entire stack in one use. So if you're going to craft, make sure you shift click on the stack of materials and only put one material in the crafting UI. Otherwise you will encounter the bug I did that I honestly just kind of laughed off because there's not much else you can really do with some of these bugs. It's been so long and why they haven't fixed these bugs is just mind boggling to me. Don't even get me started on game balance. Nothing's changed. They've changed maybe the passive tree around a little bit with some different bridging nodes so you can get around the passive tree more. But at the end of the day, there's still going to be certain builds that you have to do in order to really succeed in the end game. Uh, and on top of it, a lot of the broken, overpowered builds from before still exist. I have not done extensive testing, but based on the tool tips from the skills and skill modifiers in the passive tree, it appears though that the broken builds are still there. They have not been balanced whatsoever. Last but not least, I want to talk about is the end game. They do have a new campaign. It's kind of like an act for, I guess, a narrative type of deal that's pretty interesting and is definitely worth checking out. Just know that you're going to encounter bugs during the game. And you're probably more than likely going to want to seek anger management after you've spent a few hours with Wilson. That's just how the game is. Combat's fun, but the bugs are definitely there and even more than before. That's my early impressions of Wolsen, Lords of Mayhem, Chronicle Blood Trail, as I dubbed at the beginning of the video, Bugsin, Lords of Glitchum, Bug Trail. But, you know, there's a lot of cool ideas, in all seriousness, and jokes aside, in all seriousness, that the new hunt system really is a cool idea and does bring a lot to the table. And it, it, there's some really cool events that you can encounter in the game, not to mention the new affixes you can find on gear can roll higher stats than normal, but at a cost. It's kind of like a corrupted affix that you can find. You also have your hunt trophies that you can use at the special hunt vendor. There's a lot of stuff that's really cool to see in the genre, but who knows, maybe in another nine months, maybe they'll have the bugs fixed and maybe I won't feel enraged every time that I play the game. Again, this was just my thoughts, my impressions, and this video really kind of helped me express how I am feeling after two days in the new Chronicle update. Feel free to check it out, but just know you're going to encounter bugs. If you enjoyed this video and all the content on the YouTube channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with a friend, ring that bell to get notified when I post new weekly gaming videos. 
Your guys' support means the world to me. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.